there's lots of ways that your goats can get mites or lice so those are not uncommon things for any goat farmer goat owner whatever to experience but it's also just really not fun and has to be dealt with. Now I've done the sulfur powder, I've done some uh, topical sulfur applications to my does, I've done DE in the barn and sulfur in the barn, so I've tried different things. And now here I am at the point of saying, okay, I have to kill these mites, time and a place for you know, holistic time and a place for a conventional approach to medicine, whether you're talking about humans or livestock. Today we're talking about a livestock and of course I'm not a vet, so you should talk to your vet, you should do your own research. I'm not giving you any veterinary or medical advice. This is just what I'm doing. Hey guys, Kaylin here. <laughs> Welcome back to Fable Hill Farm. I have a bunch of goat related tasks that I need to complete today on this weekday where my mother-in-law has kindly offered to take my daughter not only for the day but for the evening and keep her overnight so I'm trying to get as much done as possible today as a stay-at-home mom, as a goat farmer, as a chicken farmer and duck farmer. I'm just getting her done today as much as I can while I have a 100% child free day. I'm going to be giving some injections today for mites and some vitamin B complex. I'm also going to be giving some oral red cell if needed. I'm checking Fomancha or the inside eyelid membrane to assess whether or not that animal is showing signs of anemia. And I'm also going to be uh, doing some hoof trimming, some hoof rasping. It's pretty warm, it's overcast. I've kept the does in the barn all day instead of sending them out to the other pen and to the pasture because I needed to get this done. So I wanted them lingering around the barn to make it easier to move them in and out. We have two dolings that I'm gonna save for the end. I'm not 100% sure if they're big enough if I can get them in the stand to be able to safely give them injections. Kids are so hard because they are actually crazy strong for how small they are and they don't like to be held against their will. So not being able to secure them in a stand as a one woman show today, I'm gonna save them for the end, not 100% confident if I'll be able to lock them in there and get that part done. If not, I'll wait for my husband Trent to get home and help me, but we've gotta get this done. But first I'll show you my setup that I've got going on here. All right, so I am just finishing getting set up here. I need to draw all of my doses, but I've got this ivermectin injectable, one cc I'm gonna be giving everyone at the recommendation of my goat mentor. I've got this red cell iron supplement. Again, I'll be checking the mantra, so if I have any does that are still looking a little light, I will give them some red cell. I've got the vitamin B complex here. Uh, giving that to all of my adult does today. I've got my alcohol prep pads here. I've got these non-sterile oral syringes that I've just ran through my dishwasher just to get the red cell one per doe. And then I've also got some vitamin C here I'm gonna be giving to uh, one of my does. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Place for sharps, I need to new bring a new sharps jar out here. Well, you guys, that was a lot of work and I am beat. 
I'm hot, I'm drenched in sweat, I've got hay and straw and probably goat poop and hair and who knows what else on me. And now I've got to clean out my barn. Because when you treat goats for mites, you also then need to clean out their living space, their bedding, so that they're not being re-exposed to mites during the process of killing off that mite population in your goat herd. So as I said, I'm going to touch on, you know, just briefly the mite situation. If you've watched my previous videos, you may know I had mites in my chicken coop in the last couple of months and that's something that we were dealing with. We finally got that tackled, finally got them dead, under control. Chickens are back to normal, no sign of mites. Now my bucks had mites. My buck Templeton was part of his problem and I've treated my bucks for that. But I had a buckling over here detour my bottle baby with my buckling sprout as I was weaning him and bonding him to detour before they both went out to the buck pen full time. And I don't know if he brought mites over or it could have come from the chickens potentially. It could come from a wild bird. There's one cc of ivermectin. That was again the recommendation of my mentor. You should have a mentor if you have goats. A local mentor is so, so important. Can't stress that enough. My friend who I was just talking to on the phone through a lot of that process, as you guys may have saw, was my friend Stacy, my goat mentor, my fellow goat lover and crazy goat lady who has helped to drag me further and further down the rabbit hole of showing milk testing all of that jazz. So Stacy told me that's what she would do for her goats. So that's what I'm doing for my goats. I'm giving them the one cc of ivermectin. I gave B complex again and red cell as needed. Checked pomanches on everybody, trimmed hooves. I forgot to trim Sunny's hooves. I realized that after I took her off the stand and that's fine, she gets milk twice a day. I can always put the rasp over her hooves, but everybody got checked out. Even the kids got done as you saw. I'm just gonna go and check and make sure that all of the does are looking okay. Anytime you know, you're know you giving injections or medications to animals, you do really wanna keep an eye on them just to make sure nobody's having like some weird reaction. I gave them some hay, put them out in the other pen to settle them down. They've got fresh water, it's hot. They're all stressed from going through that. They'll be fine. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the goats. And Okay, we got these three eating hay. Maggie, we doing okay? You just upset with me or what? You okay? I just want to make sure you're all right. She's up, she's moving, she's just upset. Okay, Sunny, sigh. <coughs> They're doing fine, Sunny's eating. Of course, not ideal for your goat to be eating on the ground. Sigh's okay. I looked at him before I came out here too. I was out here once. Hey, lady girl, you forgive me? Perhaps. Oh, Wendy, you're fine, you wacky goat. Sunny. Sigh, sigh, I can't see you. Sigh. Sunny's hiding her baby. What's Sigh doing? You okay, Sigh, sigh? All right, well, everyone looks fine. And I'm gonna go clean this barn. Well, I've got all this cleared out for the most part. Uh, I need to put DE and lime down. And I've got to just empty these two stalls. And I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna just cool off and eat some lunch. Just, you know, chill for a few minutes before I get back to work with other projects. gonna bed the barn with a light layer of straw and I am gonna call it quits. Look at this sand. DE and lime are both not uh, safe, not recommended to inhale directly. So started doing the lime and was like, oh, light bulb, I can't do that. So I went in and just got this kitchen towel to double up as a bandana so that I wasn't just inhaling this. Uh, cause it's not great 
both both of those things, crushed limestone and diatomaceous diatomaceous earth, which is a fossilized ocean creature, I believe. DE. It's just not great to breed those things in. They're both really like abrasive. Uh, could be damaging to lung tissue. Ta-da! The barn is cleaned, bedded down again, light layer of straw. I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I realize I don't do a lot of uh, goat content or I haven't just because I can only shoot so many videos in a week and still do all the other things in my life. You know, be a mom, a wife, clean my house, do my dishes, my laundry, cook, take care of the farm. You know, there's only so much time. Uh, but I wanna do more goat content. I hope you guys wanna see more goat content because I am a crazy goat lady and I love my goats. And goats are a huge part of my life. They're a huge part of our farm. And so I do wanna do more videos about goats. If you guys want to see more goat related content, if you're interested in showing goats and milking goats and milk testing and holistic care of goats, hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and check out my other videos on goats and holistic livestock management if that's something you're interested in. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. There's always gotta be a coughing goat when you start filming, I'm telling you. It's just inevitable. If you are a content creator and you have goats, there will be a coughing goat on your video.